All right, let's make some sushi. I'm gonna show you how to make the easiest tomato tuna ever. I make this all the time. It's absolutely delicious, y'all. It's not wasting more time. Let's get right into this. So we got some phenomenal looking tomatoes right here. Nice and red, that's awesome for this recipe. And also, the bigger the tomatoes you can find, the better for this recipe. So I got some water in a pot. Just gonna cut our heat up to high. Got some rice and some water in our instant pot. One to one ratio rice to water. All I'm gonna do is hit pressure cook. Cook that for three minutes and then let it sit with the lid on for 15 minutes. You have perfect sushi rice. So if you wanna save some time, you can just buy the seasoned sushi rice vinegar or you can just make it yourself by adding some sugar and salt to vinegar. But I like to save some time, just buy it pre-seasoned. Water's boiling, so I got my, what is this? I don't even know what this is called. This is like a deep fryer kind of a strainer thing. So I'm taking my tomatoes just to be safe and just gently set them in that boiling water. Right in with them, y'all. Be gentle with them, you don't want them to break open, but keep them moving so they cook evenly. All right, these are all done. They've been cooking about three minutes. So I'd say cook your tomatoes about two to four minutes, depending on their size. Take these out, put these right in some ice water here. And that's just gonna stop the cooking process and retain that nice red color. All right, let me show you how to do these real quick. Really simple, you got your cooked, blanched tomato. And you see it's already popping open right here. So usually I just start with that. So I just... You'll see these lines kind of going down the tomato. Kind of makes sushi pieces already for you. I usually just cut on those lines. And make a shape like this. I don't know what you call that. Crescent moon. Really simple. Just remove the seeds from this. There you go. You're just left with that sushi-like, tuna-like tomato piece. All done. Just repeat for the rest of your tomatoes and it's gonna look like this. Nice pieces of tomato tuna. Now we're just gonna marinate this. And by the way, all this stuff, you guys can save this and make marinara sauce. You can make Indian food with these. You could just eat this plain. Doesn't matter, but don't waste it. Set it aside, make something else with it. For our marinade, we're gonna keep it really simple. So I'm going in with some high quality olive oil right here. And got some soy sauce going in. I'm using Kikoman brand. Mix this together gently. Let everybody get to know each other in there. Then we're just gonna throw this in the fridge to marinate. Six hours. Uh, you could probably eat it sooner than that though. It's up to you, but four to six hours is what I'm recommending. Sushi rice is all done. I used some of this seasoned rice vinegar, went in with some of that. Kind of fluff this rice up. So what I do is I just take this out pop this lid right on here and then I usually throw this in the fridge. Today I'm gonna do the freezer because I'm hungry. Once your tomato tuna has been refrigerating, it's all ready to go. We got everything we need to make some sushi here. So we got sushi rice seasoned, bowl of water right here, and we got some nori seaweed. Let's make some sushi. We're just looking for strips of it like this. Seaweed's all chopped up here. So this is really simple, y'all. Just gonna wet my hands in this water. Then get you some rice, form it, squeeze it into a perfect sushi shape. Kinda use that uh, part of your hand. Take a piece of seaweed, lay it down. Rice goes on. Then really simple, we're just gonna take our tomato tuna, go right over the top with it. Last step here, we're gonna take this side right over the top. Then wet this other side here, take it right back over the top. And that's it. Just look at this sushi. This is no filter. These look amazing. And that's it. Your finished tomato tuna sushi. Delicious, healthy, quick, easy. It's a good way to use up tomatoes, y'all. Let's eat.
Can't have sushi without some soy sauce. Let's try this, y'all. Get you a bite of this right here. Vegan sushi, dip it in that soy sauce. Take this to the dome, y'all. Delicious. The tomato flavor has like, kind of been drawn away from the soy sauce and olive oil. Like the texture is really good. It doesn't taste like exactly like tuna or anything, but man, it's still absolutely delicious, y'all. Another one of these. It doesn't feel like I'm eating tomatoes, you know what I mean? Not at all. Y'all try this recipe out, man. So simple, so good. You can make this with a bunch of other rolls like I did in my sushi feast. If you need some other inspiration for some other vegan sushi, check out my vegan sushi feast video. And uh, this was one of my favorites. Like the eggplant I do is also really good, but the tomato tuna, it is surprisingly delicious. I heard about this tomato tuna kind of thing. I almost never even made it because I've been seeing vegans do stuff like roast a watermelon and call it a steak or something like that. Like, you know what I mean? Like I almost like said no to the tomato tuna, but then I tried it and I got the marination down, just kept it really simple. And I was like, yeah, this is a winner. This is delicious. Mm. That's it. That's it for this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you want to see me cook next down in the comments. Smash that like button. Smash that red subscribe button. Share this video with someone else so, you know, more people can make some tomato tuna. And see you guys next time. Eat more plants, y'all.